and it's like it's a it's a really cool choose your own adventure game because you can play as light side or dark side you can you can play different classes and stuff it was it was really fun for like an early 2000s game yeah the graphics um while not great have had several fan made community patches over the years to like update them um and I was actually I was actually playing with uh, one of the graphics updates when I live streamed it but it wasn't the most well-known one because I was uh, using basically do you know how all the mods that we're playing now has like 200 yeah. or so mods I was playing with like a fuck ton of mods just because like I've, I've played the base game for KOTOR 2 for like no not KOTOR 2 sorry KOTOR 1 for ages I figured, mm. I figured if I was live streaming it I'd want it to be entertaining for both of us so fresh start because I never actually played with the restored content mod before do you know what that is uh, is that the one where they um, it's like fan made uh, obviously it's fan made because it's a mod but it tries to recreate all the stuff that was cancelled during the initial development for it yes basically yeah. during the initial development of uh, Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 um, the team had to cut just a bunch of shit from the game, which was, like, really sad. But over the years, fans have actually data mined through the game to find almost all of the cut content, and then they've manually restored it all. And there's one for KOTAR 1 and KOTAR 2. I don't think I've played the one for... K I don't think I've played any of those ones, to be fair, but I've heard of them. Uh, because, like, uh, I've played KOTAR 2, that's the one that I have on my... Uh, on my Steam library, yeah. and it's the one that I uh, got because I I was a dumb kid, mm. and my uncle he he showed me the Knights of the Old Republic MMO. Yeah. So being me as a kid, I I ended up playing the MMO, Even. like yeah yeah I ended up playing the MMO, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the MMO, and then I saw like the Knights of the Old Republic two or like the game game on yeah. Steam, and I'm like, oh I like Knights of the Old Republic, I'll buy it because I was thinking it would be like the MMO. Mm. But it was the and original. It's the original, like, second game. I ended up really enjoying it, but yeah. Yeah. Not what child you would expect it. It's not what I expected as a child, no. Mm. I wanted to be I wanted to be a bounty hunter. <laughs> I'm gonna say I relatively enjoyed the MMO. A lot of people shit on it, and I do as well, because it's like microtransactions up the ass and it takes a shit all over the Old Republic lore and the original games. Yeah. But the reason I stopped playing wasn't actually because of any of that, because I was too young to understand any of that. The reason I stopped playing is because my inventory was full. And uh, as far as I could tell, the only way I could empty it was if I bought more inventory space. Like, with real money. Yeah. So I just thought, fuck that, and just stopped playing. And I've tried it once since then, uh, after because they've changed to a free-to-play model now. Yeah. Um, but I just I, I can't enjoy it as much as like I could back then because now it's been too long and everybody like everybody's good at it. Everybody's good at everything, and yeah. they're really far ahead. Yeah. By the way, guess what I've just found? What did you just find, buddy? I found marble. Oh! <laughs> to be fair, I've went uh, while I've been in the mine. I've went past a few pieces of marble. It looks really nice. I like the whiteness of it. You just holy shit! You just gave me so much nostalgia. I did. I've just teleported back to the shit shack, and I saw that <laughs> I the, the board. Yeah, I, th I thought it'd be a good a uh, good idea, just so then we can keep track of the things that we want to do uh, do every session, so we don't you know get derailed too quickly. That actually makes that actually made my heart like <laughs> ache. Not gonna lie, that actually it almost brought a tear to my eye. Holy it makes me very happy. Yeah, it really. I don't know why, because it's just a fucking sign missing the bottom part of itself. Mm. But it's just, it's just. Ah, it's cool. It's cool. I like yeah. it. All right, I'm allowed to have a fanboy moment. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. Right, okay, uh, this okay, is okay, not okay. influenced at all by whatever we watched last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always got. Yo, my nether tree grew! Oh, sick! The blocks look absolutely fucking terrible. But, um, I think that's an error with the texture pack. 
I don't know why, because it looked like this without it as well. But do you know how, like, our current texture pack is 32 by 30, 64 by 64, sorry. So yeah. there's 64 pixels in it. Um, the texture pack for the silent gear mod, or at least, like, the default textures, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They're 8 by 8. Like, the texture pack Ew. is 8 by 8. Ew, you know, you know that meme or uh, that meme where it's like, I like you, have a cupcake. Yeah. I like you. Ha it, it's like that, but with texture packs for wh uh, what it sounds. You know, like yeah. I like you, have a cupcake. I like you, have a cupcake. And then it sees that, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holy shit, that was loud. <laughs> what? What? Do you know the? Do you know the John Mulaney skit where he's just like, I'm sorry, when he's talking about having the doctor like fucking finger his ass or whatever it was, give him a prostate exam. Yeah. You sounded exactly like that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I mean, you, you, well, you know what they say. No, I don't know what they say. Please elaborate. Um, one up the bum just for fun. Two up the bum. You better run. I don't think anyone has ever said that in the history of forever. M my prostate doctor said that. Are you sure that was a doctor and not someone just wearing a doctor's gown? I don't know, he put three up there and I got scared. I'm pretty sure you only need one to do a prostate exam. I think you should call the police. <laughs> oh. oh, I wish I could fly, that'd be so much easier. Let's make swift wolves, swift wolf rings. You know, I've actually found a surprising amount of clay. I've, I think I've got more clay than I have cobblestone now. Yeah? Yeah, I just found a lot of clay just underground. Right, there I is... Ooh. We have something called the R Great Fairy Ring. It looks like a Swift Wolf Ring, but it's got, like... It's from Batania instead of Equivalent Exchange. We could always yeah. make an Angel Ring, which is, like, uh, its creative flight, basically. But the Batania one requires Pixie Dust and Elementium, which, as far as I'm aware, is actually relatively easy to get. Elementium... Elementium. Ah, uh, okay, it requires you- yeah, okay, so it's relatively easy if you go the Batania route. It basically requires you to build an elven portal and throw mana steel into the portal, and it'll come out as Elementium. That sounds cool. Or, like I said, we can go the Angel Ring method, which requires pixie dust, blocks of t oh, okay. It, you, you have to do Batania as well, except... This one also requires two nether stars and a diamond ring, which requires a block of diamond and all the modium block, a vibranium block, a block of netherite, and an, 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 an unobtainium block, and an elytra. Well, you know what they say about un unobtainium. On that note... It's unobtainium. Yeah? On that note, let's just fucking go the, the, the fucking elementium route, because holy shit. You don't, wait, we ain't doing that shit. Okay. What it? What? Who designed this mod pack? Uh, someone with way too much free time on their hand, and probably some so a certain thing, a certain special thing for magic, or magical items, or magical beings. Uh, yeah. I, I won't be surprised if they uh, if they go on certain uh, subreddits. Um, mm. Wait, which subreddit are you on about? Uh, you know. It, you know, the Mamutsi one. The Mamutsi one. The, the Mamutsi one? Hmm. That special file I gave you. <sighs> Do you okay. mean the game? Yeah, the game. There's an entire oh. subreddit around it, my dude. Really? Yeah. Why? Because there's a new game coming out, part three. It's uh, of the part... Part three, part, of the, three of, part, three, hmm. part three of the second game is coming out, and I'm really excited for it. I can't specify what it is, but it's a good game series. <laughs> it's a good game series. Man's is degeneracy incarnate. I mean, it's a good game series, okay? I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, that's all I'm saying. I can tell you have a penchant for that game series. It's a good game series. It carried me out for high school. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the thing is, because we're not saying what game it is, people could think it's anything from, like, fucking Nekopara to Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bobby's dream house. Oh, my God. Oh, I have dug into the roof of the hill. 
Yes, yes, you have. There is now sunlight coming into the chest room. I wish there was sunlight on my chests. You know what? Not what I expected you to say. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say you wished you were coming into the chest room. <laughs> oh, poor, poor, innocent child. Silence, Thotamus. I am Thot. Thotamus Prime. To, to defeat uh, the Decepticons and to get down there. <laughs> Uh, right. I actually think raising the roof was a good idea. Raise yeah, the roof. Apparently. Raise the roof. Ah yes, raise the roof. Oh, also you might need to use that dirt so then you can cover up our secret chest room and make it seem like it's like a part of the surroundings or something. Oh know. yeah, that was that was the plan from the start. Yeah, because I saw you like go out just a small bit, so I was like, uh, I'll just wait and see. Yeah. What happens? Do, 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 do. I mean, I've already had to cover it up once. It doesn't look great, but it's on a part of the mountain that you can't see unless you're like falling to your death, so it's fine. Cool. Yeah. Ew, something sounds ominous. That's uh, your conscience talking. Children watch. <laughs> That's not your name, dumbass. Blur that out. <laughs> <laughs> Blur that out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Come on, Ruby. That's yeah. not your name. You've been hitting the alcohol too much. The alcohol makes me queasy. <laughs> For some reason, whenever you say anything in that tone of voice, it still reminds me of the fucking John Mulaney quote. <laughs> John Mulaney. Cannot rest. There are monsters nearby. Who, who's your favorite comedian, though? You know, I really like Bill Burnham. My favourite comedian of all time used to... Oh, okay, I used to really like Lee Evans. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, Lee, I is, Lee, is it Lee Evans or Lee Mack that I'm thinking of? Which one's Lee Evans? Uh, Lee Evans the one that you used to do a lot of stuff for, like, the O2 in the early 2000s. Right. Uh, I used to think that he was... He, he kind of looks like a peanut. I think I know which one you're on about. Kind of looks like a peanut. Yeah. But no, I used to absolutely love... Uh, the stuff that I used to uh, do because uh, my I used to have like oh what was it his uh, first three shows live at the O2 Arena on DVD yeah so I used to rewatch them they were like two hours long each but like I used to enjoy just watching them all the time oh okay he's, he's he's a funny he's a funny bloke uh, he's a funny bloke but um, the reason I ask is because and I want to point out that I haven't fact checked this yet because I just saw it on a on a newspaper front cover. But apparently, a really famous British comedian, I can't remember which, has recently died of cancer. And no one knew he even had cancer, so it was very much a surprise to the nation. So, uh, rest in peace to whoever it was. Sorry I forgot your name. Well... But the only, time, the only time I follow British comedians is when they're on fucking countdown. <laughs> or 8 out of 10 you know, cats countdown. You, you sound like a grandma just there. Oh, I only do it if they're on countdown. Shut up. Bro. You know half the people here don't even know how to count up to ten. Fair Never enough. Never mind counting down. Shut up. That was a shit joke and you should feel bad. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't feel bad at all. You know what? You, you can take all your coal, so I'm going to go and build a barn. Okay. Wasn't the whole point of this that we were going to tag team it so that we could get it done quickly? Yes, but I got more cobblestone for you just in case. Ah, oh, thank you. Drop it in the chest. Yeah, Actually, did. no. Uh, bring the golden furnace down here if you can so that I can just really quickly smelt it into a smooth stone. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Yeah. Because I still do want to set up a uh, vanilla super smelter, but I want to use modded furnaces. To make it go like uber quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a long way off because even though we've got a lot of iron, to set up a super smelter requires a ton of hoppers and a lot of rails. So I don't want to deplete our resources that quickly. Yeah, you can deplete all of our resources, don't worry about it. Well, I mean, I could, yeah, technically, but I don't want to. You are a drain on our human resources. 
HR will be de <laughs> HR would be disappointed. I'm gonna say I'm a drain on the human resources. What the fuck have I done? I don't know. We're on a planet and we're the only two human. I think you're human. Uh. You look human enough. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm human enough. Don't look into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Is that is that something amnesia would cause me to forget? I, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I mean, I kind of forgot what my hair color was until I found out what the water was. Oh really? You forgot what hair color you have? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, oh like, damn. I don't know who I am. I mean, then, uh, in in that case, yeah, yes, I, I am human. Definitely, this this I am. Your name is Hugh, human. and you are and, man. <laughs> and I believe that I am human, and you are right. My my name is Hugh Man. man. <laughs>